Hello everyone, OpenAI has introduced a massive upgrade to their AI tool, adding features that could greatly benefit us. I received an email earlier this morning stating that they've fully resolved a minor issue where audio would occasionally cut off at the end of sentences, which was affecting some users. They've also added 200 new voices, bringing the total number of voices in the system to over 400, including several added based on user feedback. Additionally, they've introduced a cryptocurrency payment option for greater convenience. Payments made with cryptocurrency will receive an additional 50% in credits. They're also currently testing a feature that allows users to insert silent pauses into the text, which is expected to be released in the next two to three weeks. As we all know, this is a text-to-speech AI tool with amazing voices. Today, we're going to explore this AI tool, and I'm going to show you how to use it for your benefit. You can use it for your projects, to create content, and for several other purposes. So follow me as I demonstrate how to do this. First, you need to log into the AI tool by registering. After registration, you can log in. There is a text area where you can easily input your text. You also have the story maker, where you can add two to three or even four voices, depending on your story. Then there's the documents section, where you can upload a document and the AI will narrate the story for you. Let's start by typing, what is the name of the first president of America? We're going to check this out using different voices. I'm going to use Tom first. Text-to-speech OpenAI is a technology that converts text into speech based on artificial intelligence. He has a very rich voice. Let's also check out Alex, who has a very good voice as well. Text-to-speech OpenAI is a technology that converts text into speech based on artificial intelligence platform. Text-to-speech OpenAI works by... I'm going to convert this text using these voices. I'll select Tom, then go to the speed selection where you have options from one to six. I'll leave it at one, which is the default value. Next, you have high quality and HD quality options. I think you have to pay extra if you want to use the HD quality as it's not selectable by default. So we'll use the high quality option and then click on create success. I can hear it call. Dangerous in Let's check it out by going to history, clicking on the file, and listening. What is the name of the first president of America? Isn't that rich? That's just amazing. The tone of the voice is really exceptional for Tom. Now, let's add more text. Where did he live? What was the name of his wife and how many children did he have? I'm going to click on Alex to try out his voice. Again, I'll use high quality and leave the speed at one, then click on create. Head to the history section. As you can see, it's processing your audio. What is the name of the first president of America? And where did he live? What was the name of his wife and how many children did he have? If you're looking for one-on-one -on -one mentorship, feel free to click the link in the channel description to sign up. You can also book a session with me directly. Now, let's continue. Isn't this amazing? You can download it if you wish. If not, just go back to Vocalize. You can write a longer piece and it will convert it for you. To try this out, let's use ChatGPT and ask it to generate a story. We already have a story, so I'll just paste it in there to try out the tone of the voice and see how it sounds with pauses or periods. Once that's done, go back to history. The voice is ready. Let's play it to listen. The Philistines, enemies of the Israelites, were gathered for battle against the armies of Israel. Among the Philistines was Goliath, a giant warrior who stood over nine feet tall, clad in heavy armor and wielding a massive sword and shield. Goliath challenged the Israelites daily, taunting them and demanding they send a champion to fight him in single combat. What do you think about this AI voice? This is really outstanding. It's amazing. The voice pays attention to punctuation, pausing appropriately at commas and periods, giving detail to everything in the text. OpenAI is really doing something incredible. 
Back in Vocalize, you can paste your text and select any voice to use for your content. I'm going to check out some of the voices that I noticed are very good. I'll mention these voices to you, or you can scroll through to check out the voices for yourself. For example, Neil is amazing. I love his sound and tone. Neil happens to be from the United States. Text-to-speech OpenAI is a technology that converts text into speech based on artificial intelligence platform. Then there's Jack, who has a few versions. One is middle-aged and another is older. You can check them out to see which one suits your project. Text-to-speech OpenAI is a technology that converts text into speech based on artificial intelligence platform. Text-to-speech OpenAI is a technology that converts text into speech based on artificial intelligence platform. For female voices, Emily and Helena are excellent choices. Give them a listen. Text-to-speech OpenAI is a technology that converts text into speech based on artificial intelligence platform. Text-to-speech OpenAI works by combining natural language processing. Text-to-speech OpenAI is a technology that converts text into speech based on artificial intelligence platform. These are some of the voices that I noticed are very good, and I think you should try them out as well. Now let's move over to the story maker. In the story maker, you can easily generate two to three or four voices together at the same time. You'll see a block name field. I'll type in Jerry, and then in the input text, I'll write, my name is Jerry, and I am from the United States of America. Click on the plus icon to add another character. I'll add Lucy and type, welcome Jerry, I am glad to see you here. Add another character, James, and type, I am glad to meet both of you. You must assign a voice to each character. Click on the voice icon and select a particular voice. For instance, for Jerry, select Tom. For Lucy, since she's a lady, select Lisa. And for James, select Alex. When done, click Create. Please note that due to some limitations, this function currently only works well in English. By clicking the button below, you agree and understand the risks regarding the quality of the resulting audio file. You'll need to name your story, so I'll type Welcome Party and click Start. However, to use this particular story maker, you have to pay an $8 fee for the premium version. To be honest, I think it's worth it because it creates speech from text up to 8,000 characters. Subscribing to this will save you a lot of time. Next, let's head over to the Documents section. You can upload a document of your story, and then the AI, by selecting a particular voice, will narrate your story for you. I think this is awesome as well. You will receive an email with a link to download the file, or you can download the file directly from the history. There's also the voice library. This is the library of all the voices that you can select from, over 400 voices in total. It's just amazing. You can scroll through and take your time. There are several languages available so you can search and find something that resonates well with you. The reason I'm showing you this is to understand that the voices are not just in English but in several languages. Feel free to explore. Có nhiều nguyên nhân dẫn đến ô nhiễm môi trường. Nguyên nhân chính là do ý thức con người tung tôn trọng luật pháp bảo vệ môi trường. Text to speech open AI это технология, которая преобразует текст в речь на основе платформ OpenAI este o tehnologie care convertește textul în vorbire pe baza platformei de inteligență artificială. Text-to-speech OpenAI-nin ingongjinung platformul kibanuro textul umsongoro pyeonananeun gisuleumida. Text-to-speech OpenAI are an technology som converterer text to tale baseret po künste intelligenz platform. Let's check my voices. This is where you can actually create new voices. You have the option of creating your own voices, but to use this feature, you have to go pro. Then you have the translate option here. Just like Google Docs, you have the translate option. You can paste any language in here and then convert it into another language. Isn't this amazing? As you can see, it supports advanced translation features. You can either paste text here or upload a document and it will translate it to another language. For instance, let's use something we already have. I'll paste the text, leave it on detect language and then translate it to Japanese. To do this, you have to sign in and may need some tokens. Let's try it out. It was able to convert this absolutely seamlessly from English to Japanese. You have 5,000 free characters to use. If you want to convert more text, you would have to go pro. This AI tool is not so expensive. It is quite affordable. Let's check out the pricing by clicking on buy credits. For $8, you get 200,000 non-expiring credits. For $16, you get 400,000 non-expiring credits. For $40, you get 1 million non-expiring credits. For $56, you get 1.4 million credits. For $80, you get 2 million credits. 
For $120, you get 3 million credits. For $136, you get 3.4 million credits. For $160, you get 4 million credits. Isn't this amazing? You can buy whichever package suits you, and I'm telling you, you're going to thank me later. So, this is what OpenAI has brought to the table, and I would like you to check it out. If it's something you think you can afford or use, then you are free to do so. I hope this tutorial was helpful enough. Thank you for watching, and don't forget, the link to this will be in the description below. See you, and bye-bye for now.